Tony poured his own urine into the fuel tank, then slowly turned the key. The next second the abandoned tractor started to move again. The dumbfounded few were a little confused. He actually peed 95 petrol. After this Tony slowly turned around and left. The village chief saw this and called out to him, and in order to get Tony to stay, the mayor not only offered him the post of chief, he also offered his daughter Amy to be his secretary. Tony, who had been single for over 30 years, Tony agreed to stay without even thinking about it. After all, his daily work was simple. Just keep drinking water and collecting his own urine. Tony is Tony, with Amy looking on in admiration. Straight away he achieved the 10,000 liters a day feet. Thanks to his efforts, all the tools in the village were back up and running. Even the buses started to travel for free, watching everything around him change for the better. Tony couldn't help but laugh out loud at the pig squeal, but the news soon caught the attention of the high-ups. They wanted the village chief to expand the oil fields, but the mayor refused. I thought he felt sorry for Tony, but then he turned around and told Tony to increase production. He said there was not enough oil to go around. Tony was puzzled, but didn't think much of it. However, that very night, he was trying to drink some water. The lamp overhead suddenly went out. This left Tony puzzled. There wasn't enough oil to cause a power cut. Just as he was about to check the power supply, he accidentally spotted the oil on the floor. Tony was curious and followed him, and was completely shocked by